And children, today there is, I found an interesting connection between the flowers that we have during Christmas time, that is the poinsettias, and today's martyr, Saint Martina. Very soon these flowers will be taken down as we begin Lent. Saint Martina, she was found by her enemies praying in the church. There was three officers, officers, they were sent to capture the Christians. And so they found her praying in the church and they arrested her. And they brought her to the emperor who commanded her to give up her faith, to sacrifice to the false gods of the Rome. Well, she refused. She was very brave because when she was praying in the church, God sent an angel to accompany her so she was not alone with her enemies. And that angel gave her strength to keep the faith, to be faithful. And so when she refused to sacrifice to the gods, she was scourged like our Lord was. They used iron hooks tied to cords and very strong men would beat her and a lot of blood was poured out. But they also took swords and they cut her very deeply. And a lot of times when they cut her, they also noticed that this white milk-like substance also came out with the blood. And that white substance had a very beautiful scent. Some of this blood, some of this white substance, it was sprinkled on these, these men who were scourging her, and they actually were converted. That blood, together with the prayers of St. Martina herself, it converted her enemies. She was later on led into the amphitheater, it was called. It's like a stadium in Rome where sports would take place, except the sports in Rome were, they were not like the sports we know today. They were a little more cruel. That is, they would feed Christians to lions. There's a picture, it's, it's on the altar, you may not be able to see it, but St. Martina is there with a lion. In her case, the lion did not hurt her. It came, it was like a cat. It was, it licked her wounds. It was nice to her. The angel calmed the lion. After the, the lion failed to put her to death, then finally her, she was beheaded. The poinsettias, that is the flowers, you notice, children, they are red. Red is a symbol of two things, virginity and of blood. In the old, in ancient times, the virgins, those who consecrated themselves to the service of God, they actually wore red. And that is why Our Lady in, in older pictures, she is actually wearing red. But it also, especially today, it reminds us of blood, the blood that the martyr shed. And poinsettias, if you break them, children, if you break a petal or a stem, a milk-like substance does come out. I'm not sure whether it's sweet to taste, but in any case, it does remind us of these holy martyrs. And finally, today we commemorate the agony of our Lord in the garden. And there's a picture over there you can see where our Lord is being comforted by an angel. In the agony of the garden, our Lord, he, it was the night before his passion, remember, he asked his friends to pray. And then he went away alone, and he fell on his face. He was prostrate on the ground, and he prayed. And what did he pray? He said, Father, if it's possible, let this chalice pass. That is all the sufferings, the scourging he would have to undergo the next day. He did, it was hard. He didn't want to do it. And so he prayed that maybe he could escape. But it was the will of 
his father that he should suffer these things. And St. Paul tells us he learned obedience. Christ learned obedience. It was very difficult, and so difficult that the blood began to come out of his, of his body. It was, he was sweating blood. That's how difficult it was to accept this decree of, of death. But he did it. How did he do it? By praying. When he prayed, an angel came and comforted him, as you see in the picture. So children, remember, prayer is your primary weapon. With, by prayer, like St. Martina, you can overcome lions, anything. God will strengthen you. He gives you an angel that will be with you always. And through prayer, we learn how to be obedient. Obedience is the most important virtue, children. And remember that today and every day of your school and at home. You have to obey a lot of, all the time. But obedience, if you do it grudgingly, it's not of any value to God. It's like the blood. We need to mix it with some milk, that sweet substance. How do you do that? When you obey, offer it up to God. Pray and say you want to do it because it's the will of God. If someone tells you to do something you don't want to do, if it's hard to do, remember Christ had to do something very hard to do. And by praying, he was able to do it, and he saved us all. Imitate him, children. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.